In this video, guys, I'm going to show you how you can create an email signature. It is time for you now to change that look on your emails. I hope you'll be able to learn something new from this one and uh, you will take your emails to the next level. And uh, hopefully you can uh, get more uh, responses from your emails that you send to your audience. If you are new here, my name is Steve from stevenjonesy.com. I create videos every week to help you learn something new, something that you can use uh, for your personal development and growth, and also something that you can use to help you earn extra income. We all need that extra income, don't we? Let's do this. But before we do that, I'll ask you to subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell so that you can get notified every time I post a new video. I hope you'll learn something from this, guys. Uh, email signatures are really, really good if you want to gain that credibility and authority uh, with your clients or your email recipient. I just got this from Canva, but today I'm not going to use Canva as I always do. Um, you can also make an email signature using Canva, but with Canva, then the, the links that you put in, they won't be uh, clickable. But I want you to have clickable dynamic um, um, uh, links that you can use or your clients or your email recipient can visit so they can know more of what you offer. So to do that, we're going to go on to a website called uh, designhill.com. So I will go on to that right now and show you how um, you do that. So designhill.com is a very, very great website. It's got so many other different tools that you can learn uh, as well. You might find something interesting to you there. So once you are on that website there, as you can see, uh, you can scroll down all the way to the bottom of the page. I think it's easier to go straight. Then on the tools there, you can come on to uh, email signature generator. So you go up there and once you are into that, then it will bring you here. So this is where the magic will happen. As you can see, uh, you can create different uh, types of uh, email signatures. It's up to you how you like it. So you can design that. So what you do next is to go on to create um, your email, your free email signature. And the other thing just to mention is that uh, this is free. So you can create for free uh, without any charge at all. But you can have a look at all other services that they offer. They've got different things there. And also they've got the paid version that can um, uh, do different things for you as well. But the email um, signature for this tutorial is free. You can do it there. So let's do that right now. I'll click on to create a template and then we come on to here so the great thing is that you just input the information and then you see it uh, at the same time as you, you you put it so you can see here we've got this uh, toolbar here um, the main information that you will uh, uh, need to appear or you want to appear on your signature then you've got the social icons that you uh, can include if you like the style how you want it to to look and then the call to action the cta that you can you can write something for your recipients to uh, click on and then go to where you want them to uh, to go whether it's an offer of something or a phone call or something you can do that as well so this is the form where we will be using and then uh, the other thing that you need to uh, be prepared as well is to uh, have your photo that you want to uh, put into your signature if you want to have the photo as well uh, like as you can see this example here uh, they've got the signature there with the, the template for, for the photo uh, so it's up to you how you want it um, i like mine to have um, a photo so i will show you uh, the one that i did as well for my uh, for my email i'll I'll show you right now as you can see um, yeah so you will be able to do this as well alrighty let's get into this now first thing that you're gonna do uh, you can type your name uh, however you want it uh, whatever you want to, uh, to appear on your signature you can do that so I'm going to um, put my details there but your email I'll change the email um, So what will appear then? Then the job title is what you do, uh, what you want people to, um, you know, to um, to know uh, about you, uh, so they can reach you even uh, uh, easier. So I will just uh, put something here, um, and then departments you don't need that. Obviously, if you are from a big company, you can uh, put all that stuff there, and then then put your company name. website um, uh, you 
can put your website here where you want them to reach you. Um, that's important. I think you make sure you have something there, even if it's a link to somewhere you want uh, people to reach you. I think that would be great. The rest can feel uh, how you want it. So, um, the address. and then the other thing while we're on the main, yeah, as I said, you can use a professional photo. You can use that as well. So I'll find a photo somewhere that I can use. Yeah, I'll find a photo, and then I'll put that photo in. Uh, it's loading, as you can see. Uh, make sure your photo uh, is 500 by 500 uh, uh, pixel. Uh, maximum is 800 so you can take these dimensions and go to Canva and then uh, create a photo there you can go to create design and then uh, put the custom uh, size and then put 500 by 500 and then you get this photo that I've just uh, a similar photo that I've just, uh, just put in so um, it's getting into shape now as you can see so the next thing that you need to do now you can go uh, to the social um, uh, profiles there so what you can do you can select the social icons that you want and then you put the links uh, for them so as you can see here if you want to put facebook uh, you will have to upgrade to a paid uh, version and linkedin as well you need to um, upgrade to that but we'll take those out and then if you've got a twitter handle you can do that and then um, you can add um, um, instagram there as well and you can add your youtube uh, icon as well then you just need to um, Got the um, um, you know the URL and put it in as uh, uh, you want people to go and visit that. Um, so you can do that and uh, right here and I'll go and put uh, get my YouTube link and then I'll put it in. Okay, I'm back. I'll just put the two so I can give you an example. But otherwise, you can select whichever icons that you uh, you want to put in here. There's so many there. But as I said, Facebook uh, and LinkedIn they are for um, uh, for paid version. The next thing that you're going to do, you can go to style, and here that's how you design your um, your signature, how you want it to look. Um, as you can see here, we've got different versions with the classic where the image is at the bottom. You can use that one where the image is at the top, so like that one. And then uh, you can select how you want it. But then if you want to um, have an image on the left um, like this, then this one you have to uh, select um, a, a paid version. So you have to pay uh, to get that one or the other one. So there's only two that, um, as you can see there. So that's actually very nice, but you know, um, I don't think uh, um, this one is, is, is bad. Yeah. <laughs> I, I like that myself. So you, you, you can see how you, you do it. And then you can play around with um, all the design, the colors and everything. So I like this blue color there. So I'll just copy this um, color code and then uh, I'll paste onto that so that everything can be blue. As you can see, it's all turned blue now. And then you can change the font uh, style. Um, let's see how that looks. Uh, let's see the other one. Um, so you, you choose the one that works for you better. Um, I don't like that one. <laughs> uh, let's see that. That's not bad. But you know, this is the idea. Just do what you, you like. And then you can um, just size to see how big you want it. You know, you can just size your, the whole thing. Yeah. A little hundred, maybe. Yeah, that's fine. Um, so medium or small, you know, I, I think medium will fit very well. Um, do let's see the radius. Uh, this is, uh, I think yeah. Oh, circle. Yeah, let's just do it with circle. And then um, that's it. Uh, the next thing that you're going to do, uh, you can put the um, go up and then go to CTA, call to action. If you want to say something to uh, your clients or your email recipient, you can um, say, uh, book your, depending on what you offer, book your free um, call. Then, uh, you know, you put the link to where uh, this will take them. 
so they can and then book that call. And then so when they click onto that uh, on their email, you'll take them to where uh, they're going to be able to fill in the, the information that you want and then arrange that call. And that's pretty much it. Uh, the add-ons, you can uh, put a disclaimer if you want. Uh, you can download an, an app badge for, for that. Uh, we don't need to do that at the minute. So we'll just um, deal with what we've done so far. I think it looks all right. It looks good. You can uh, keep checking it and look how it, it feels. I think that's, this one, the name is above, as you can see. Um, keep checking and seeing. But I like this one, so I'll go with this one. And then uh, that's it. That's all we got to do uh, for now. And uh, once you've done that, uh, you can uh, come here and then say create signature. And then you need to answer just a few questions there before you can uh, actually do so. How big is your team? You know, if you've got a team of five, ten, you can just put that. Or if it's just you and your assistant, um, uh, you can do that. I'll put three for me. And then, uh, uh, do you have uh, a logo for your business? Yes, I do. Uh, I made it from Canva. Um, and then, uh, have you, where have you heard from us? Um, have you heard from us before? Yes, we have. And I've heard them from um, the search engine. Which one? I'll just put logo. We always do. And then it says download signature. Um, and then all they want you to do is to put your email uh, here. Um, uh, and then, um, that's it. Uh, let me check if it's okay. Yeah, that's it. And then uh, you just say sign up and then they will give you the option now to copy um, your to copy the uh, the signature so as you can see you can have a look at it and make sure everything is fine uh, if you need to change something just go to back to editor and then uh, you can sort everything out so what we do now uh, you're going to copy that signature and then you can leave um, the testimonial if you like or we'll just uh, see it uh, from there and then uh, um, now the next thing is to go and set this up into your uh, email account um, so i'm going to use gmail so uh, they give you the um just the guideline of how to do it you know uh, i'll show you anyway uh, so it depends on what you have you have outlook or apple mail uh, so all of them you can set up uh, they put the instructions there so that's uh, what we're going to do so what i will do now i'm going to go to my um, gmail uh, account and then on the gmail account as you can see I'm in my gmail account here. so i'm going to go to settings you will that um, will break there and then um, click on that it's a setting you go there uh, then sometimes when you go there it opens the whole entire settings but mine is uh, it's got a fix in there so i'll go to see all settings so i can show you so uh, normally when you click onto that wheel it will bring this uh, um, information that you've set up or that google has set up for you if you haven't changed it so it's good to have a look at it and then um, customize it how you want it uh, as you can see i've customized some of mine there but the, what you are looking for once you are here what you're looking for is where it says signature so you scroll down all the way down it's right towards the end and then it says signature here as you can see it says no signature so because you haven't said anything yet so i left this here so that i can show you so i'll go to create new and then how do you want your signature what do you want uh, to call it so i will just say um to do now is paste what you've copied from um, uh, your signature uh, design then it all brings everything here and then what you can do the important thing here as well you want to take make sure you're taking this uh, bottom uh, section that says create your own email so just highlight that and then delete that and then that's it and then um, your email signature is all there so what you're going to do uh, just importantly make sure you uh, you set this up here otherwise it will not appear on the email uh, so the signature defaults uh, for new email use uh, you can um, um, set it up to the same thing I like to do that uh, even when I especially this one when you reply to emails uh, make sure you 
highlight, you, you select that as well so that it can uh, automatically be in those emails because you want people to then uh, click onto those links and so they can visit to where you want them to go. And that's it. Once you've done that, that's it. You come down here and then don't forget to save changes, uh, save changes. And then that's it. It's all done. So what we can do now, we can test and see if that um, really works. So you go to compose and then you should pop up with your um, at the bottom there. So as you can see, it's, it's all there so now we will test that let's see um you see that call to action that we did yeah so i uh, will show you what happens so we'll, we'll um I'll send to my other email and that's it then i uh, will send and then we'll see so it's gone um let's see it's on the send here we've sent it let's see that it's we've sent let's now see uh um uh, let's go to uh, check that email so it's there uh, let's have a look I'll go to inbox um, there you go it's coming up there that's the one and then there you go guys uh, as you can see your signature is there uh, and then the, your who you are and obviously what you do and your company name phone number and your email address and the website and the call to action uh, when i click here it will take uh, me to um, my website as you can see here it's uh it's taken me to to my uh my website uh, and that's it that's how you do it guys i hope uh um this was helpful once again uh thank you for being here and don't forget to subscribe hit that notification bell and then you can get notified every time I post a new video. As I said, I post a video every week, uh, something new that you guys can learn and help you make some extra income if you want, or also just uh, grow uh, on your own as well for your personal development. With all that, thank guys, I'll catch you soon. You take care. Bye.